Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to show the entire photo just to make sure that I abide by policies as I always do, but you can go on Truth Social. You can go, pretty much every publication has the actual photo. The people are blurred out aside from a much younger Ron DeSantis. This is actually a very interesting story. It is former President Trump ensuring that his possible rival in 2024 doesn't enter the uh, the the primary, the Republican primary. I don't know why Republicans would primary Trump, seeing that we had record low poverty under Trump, and he got well, what he got over seventy million Americans with twenty with ninety plus percent negative media coverage. We had record highs in household median income under President Trump in twenty nineteen. These are facts. This is not opinion. The, the, the fact is we had record lows in poverty under Trump in 2019, according to CNN. He was the first president to step foot in North Korea. We were not 90 seconds to midnight. We had the Doha Agreement, the Abraham Accords. Uh, the tariffs that Trump imposed on China are still around. Democrats have not reversed them. That's a fact also. The Trump tax cuts have not been reversed. That's also a fact. He was the most popular president. I think he surpassed Reagan within the Republican Party at one point. So there's no there's no sense in going after Trump. You're not going to defeat Donald Trump. But the reaction to this has been very interesting. That's why I was going to do a live stream, but I wanted to just do this segment. We'll do a live stream tomorrow, most certainly. Every day at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. on this channel, please be here. Hit subscribe to my Patreon, my new Patreons. Thank you so very much. The Patreon link is below. Uh, the super thanks is below next to the like and the share buttons as well. And go to hagoodman.com to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Trump doesn't have The Washington Post to go after any political rivals, so... I remember back in the day when I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post, and the unofficial scribe of Sanders' most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. See, I wanted, I wanted something different. I, I, I am against never-ending military conflict and counterinsurgency quagmires, and I thought Bernie Sanders was that person. But Trump, everything that took place in Trump's administration in terms of success Every demographic group doing better. Record low poverty in 2019, according to CNN and every other, all the data. It was record low poverty, record highs in household median income, record low in unemployment that we finally got to after three years of madness from a bunch of maniacs shutting down the U.S. economy, which was not Trump's policy, one of the many lies within Biden's uh, State of the Union. It was a direct line between 2016 Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump two years ago and two years from now, or a year and a half from now or so. But ladies and gentlemen, Washington Post went after Bernie Sanders. They went after anyone who would even dare oppose Hillary Clinton in 2016. Every publication did. Every single publication did. And you have a public relations monstrosity going after Trump and anyone that opposes Biden. They can barely, it's almost like they barely want to speculate when it comes to Biden. And you have one representative today when the, with the Twitter, uh, the, the, the Twitter executives testifying, you have one representative, I believe I, 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 I believe he's a representative who served as a lawyer in Trump's impeachment. He said, I was a lawyer in Trump's impeachment. I was just watching one clip, and he said, I can prove, I know for a fact that um, that prosecutor was forced out because he uh, wasn't uh, rooting out corruption. It's not Biden's job as vice president to force out a prosecutor. That's never happened before. Furthermore, that representative has no knowledge or cannot prove that Biden forced out anyone because they weren't doing their job. That's the that that is the focus or responsibility of that country, not of an American politician. 
So the lie was when they get caught with their hand in the cookie jar, or when they get caught with their pants down, is, oh, well, it, you know, those emails where well, the New York Post actually published stating, how can you use your influence on our company's behalf? The same company that benefited from uh, Biden forcing out that prosecutor. Those emails point to felonies. Okay, nothing Trump did within that phone transcript because he was so proud, this representative of going after Trump. The thing, they didn't prove that Trump, uh, you know, leveraged that president or forced that president to investigate anyone, okay? Contrary to the actual admission by Biden of him forcing out a prosecutor and then finding out uh, from the New York Post that those emails directly um, explain why he forced out the prosecutor. And there are suspicious activity reports and all of that. So when Trump does this, he doesn't have an entire, he has never Trumpers, he has all of media against him, and he doesn't have publications that serve his interest. They say that Trump is an authoritarian. He's the only authoritarian in history that doesn't have control of media or intel agencies. So his personality, he has to use his personality. Now, the response from DeSantis was interesting. It's nor it was a actually a good response. Oh, I don't go after Republicans. Well, it's like, you know what? I like DeSantis. I do. He's a good governor. Very good. Okay. He doesn't um he's done a lot of good things for Florida. A lot of good things. That's why you have so many people from California and New York flying and moving to Florida. But it's it's if he wants to run, if DeSantis wants to run, he has to understand that Trump is going to go after him. And he has to understand that that's, you know, that's what's going to take place. DeSantis is going to go after him. And I mean, sorry, that Trump is going to go after him and, you know, pretty much steamroll him and anyone else in his way. DeSantis is very good. The he's the he, however, he is the choice of never Trumpers. And here's why. It's not so much that DeSantis is compromised or that he's, you know, really like a never Trump. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, he's compromised and all of this. It's like, no, no, no. DeSantis would be a good president and he'd be a good choice. The issue here is that never Trump Republicans. People at the National Review, for example, have convinced themselves that if only you could be, if only you could find a candidate that media would accept, a good Republican, one that wasn't um, belligerent or polarizing, then you could, then you could get. Um, Georgia and Arizona, and you could you could get positive media coverage throughout the country. That's not the case. The Georgia and Arizona Republican parties um, could do the same thing to DeSantis that they did to Trump. But that's a question mark. Whether he could get state parties is a question mark. The issue is the media coverage would be just as apoplectic and hysterical. Media is an extension of the Democratic Party, and they learned from Trump that if they circle the wagons, if they prop up Fetterman, he could he he could defeat us. If they can do media right now is even though you have you know my channel and a whole bunch of other channels that are much better than my own channel uh, on YouTube. Okay, you have independent media that's growing and that's you know. A force to, you know, that, that, that is a good thing for the country. The CNN, MSNBC, Washington Post, New York Times, Atlantic, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone, um, Time Magazine, New Yorker, New York Magazine. I said CNN, MSNBC, didn't I? That apparatus is very strong, very powerful, very influential still. Okay, it's still very influential. And they're firmly behind one political party and they're firmly against Trump. And they would level everything they have against every public relations spin they have against DeSantis. And then DeSantis would lose the Arizona and Georgia Republican parties because you have state Republican parties that revere media.
they don't want negative media coverage. Anyway, this is pretty much a message saying, do not go into 24 thinking you're going to defeat Trump. It ain't going to happen. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'll be back in a couple of hours. People share this everywhere. It's important. Thank you.